Hello friends, and today I want to talk to you guys about a Death's Breath farming build for Necromancer at the beginning of Seasons. Now, I really love this build. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, let's go over the gear first. In the helm, we're going to be using the Sage's Helm, and you want uh, Intelligence, Vitality, and Crit Chance. Shoulders, you want Intelligence, Vitality, Cooldown, and Corpse Lance, and these are the Corpse, corpse Whisper Pauldrons. This increases the damage of Corpse Lance. And in the uh, Necklace, you're going to be using the Johnstone. Again, increases the damage of Corpse Lance. The armor is not good. You'd rather have crit percent, or I mean, uh, yeah, crit percent or percent physical or something like that. We're going to be using Pestilence. Only two pieces of it. You'll see the two-piece set. Each corpse you consume fires a corpse lance at a nearby enemy. This is so cool. I'll explain it more in a minute, but when you have Devour Up with Land of the Dead, you're constantly just shooting corpses all over the screen, and <laughs> it's, it's so fun. It's so cool. Um, you're going to need the gloves of Sages. You're going to be want Int. Crit damage, crit chance, cooldown. Nemesis braces are perfect because you want to be able to get the champion packs from pylons because that will proc in geome. And that's good because you want to go as fast as you possibly can using blood rush all over the place. We're using gold wrap because all the gold you pick up will make you invincible. We're going to be using convention of elements, more damage. You know, crit damage, crit chance, and pretty standard stuff. Crit damage, crit damage, and heal over here as well. But you want avarice band because this makes it so that when you pick up gold, the radius gets bigger. So the whole screen just sucks to you. It's good stuff. We're going to be using Pestilence Pants, you know, defensive rolls, whatever you like. Armor is really good, though, on um, caster classes. Then we're going to be using Sage's Boots. And for the weapon, it's Relina's Shadow Hook. This is excellent, because the, mo the more essence you have, the more damage you do. So you definitely want essence on here. You want cooldown reduction and probably enhanced damage as opposed to vitality. Just kind of depends on how you're feeling. In the cube, like I said, you want Ngeom. And this is because you want to be able to have Blood Rush up every time you kill a champion or elite pack. This is Morbid Gauntlets, and you, this makes your golem just drop a corpse all the time, so that way you can, uh, you'll can, you be eating the corpse with Devour automatically, and then it'll shoot out a, a Corpse Lance because of the Pestilence 2-piece. And then finally, you want Crispin Sentence. As for gems, Emerald in the weapon, Topaz in the armor, Diamond in the helm. We're going to be using um, Bane of the Trap because every single build uses Bane of the Trap going to be using Boon of the Hoarder. This makes you go faster and gets you more gold and makes you invincible with gold wrap. And finally, Bane of the Powerful, just straight damage. It's good stuff. For Paragon, you want movement speed, maximum essence, intelligence, cooldown reduction, crit chance, crit damage. Make, you can kind of depend on, or you can decide which one is more important for you based on your other stats. Just, you know, pay attention to your spreadsheet. You kind of want like a 10 to 1 ratio. And then you want armor, life, resist all, then life regen, followed by area damage, resource cost, life per hit. So now let's talk about the skills. This is where the magic happens. So for curses, well, you don't have to have a curse, but I mean, in this case, we're using Frailty, Aura of Frailty. We're using Corpse Lance, Visceral Impact. We're using Land of the Dead, Frozen Lance. This will also proc the other part of Crispin's Sentence, the Ring, to make you do a lot more damage. Using Blood Rush Molting. This is nice because when you Blood Rush, you'll, you'll drop a corpse behind, and then you'll automatically eat the corpse with Devour, Devouring Aura, which because of the two-piece Pestilence, will automatically shoot a Corpse Lance, along with the Golem that's constantly dropping it, so it's really nice. Then Command Golem, Flesh Golem, this is good in case Land of the Dead happens to be off cooldown. You drop these guys down, poof, got a whole bunch of corpses all of a sudden, things are just blowing up. For passes, Overwhelming Essence, more Essence. In case you screw up, we got Final Service. Spreading Malediction gives you a lot more damage because of uh, Frailty Aura, and then Blood is Power. This is really nice because what this does is that after, you know, you lose 100% of your life, you get 20% cooldown of all of your abilities, right? And since you're going to be blood rushing all over the place, you're going to drop 20%, 20%, then you can use Land of the Dead. And that's just, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I'm so excited for you to see the video in just a second. And so in the clip you're about to see, we blow up a T9 rift. And the reason we're doing T9 is because if you can farm T9 with Sage's set really fast, like, you know, two, three minutes, you're going to get more death's breath per hour than you would if you were farming 13 at a, you know, moderate pace or something like that. And this is such an easy playstyle because you literally are just walking around killing stuff automatically. You can watch movies, do whatever else you want while doing this. It's, it's a blast. It's just a total, total blast. So enjoy the, enjoy the next clip and I'll see you guys next time.